Hello, welcome to this video that looks at what an image actually is on a computer. Now if you think back to ancient times, people used to make images using little coloured stone blocks and they would arrange those blocks in an order and the way they ordered them would create an image. Now modern times, nothing really has changed. If you look very closely at your monitor, you'll see that the screen is made up of tiny little squares. These squares are called pixels. Now the number of pixels you have on the screen is called your resolution. I'm going to show you how you can make a simple picture using nothing but a spreadsheet. So I'm going to create a Google spreadsheet. Um, I've got one here. If you don't know how to do that, you just go to your Google Drive. Oh dear. If you go to your Google Drive, go to Create and then go to Spreadsheet. Here is my spreadsheet. Now I've got a picture of a Space Invader here which I've used uh, by colouring in cells. Now I've used a nifty little trick um, called uh, conditional formatting. If there is a zero in my cell, it's going to be white and if there's a zero, uh, one in my cell, it's going to be black. And to do that, all you need to do is set a, give yourself a little resolution. So I've got a grid here of 20 by 20. Um, and I've got it set up. So if I type in a 1, it changes to black, um, like so. And if I change it back to a 0, it goes back to white. Now, um, what you're going to need to do is create a similar grid. Okay, um, I've got one here in my demo section and what I do is I highlight this area, this is my my grid, I'm going to go to format, conditional formatting and I'm going to add some rules. The first rule is that it's going to be equal to, so if it's equal to zero, I'm going to make the text color a very light gray and the background color is going to be white because I want to see the the actual numbers. Um, conditional formatting, I, if to add a new rule just click on add another rule and I'm going to set it up to 1, so it's equal to 1. The text color is going to be a, uh, let's make it a darker gray, and the background color is going to be black. Actually, let's make it the same color gray. Okay, so I've got my two rules. So this is my binary number. So 0 is equal to white, 1 is equal to black. Because I'm using one bit, I can only have two colors, white and black. So first thing I can do is just see, does 0 work? Yeah, zeros are working and the one is working okay so now what you can do is start drawing your image in here like so if you want to add more colors well you're gonna to have to add more bits so let's have two bits as opposed to one bit remember a one bit number can either be a, a zero or a one this gives you a total uh, number oops, of ah, can't just have equals this gives you a total number of colors of two if I wanted to use two bits I could have zero zero or zero and one, one and zero, and one and one. So this one is equal to zero, this one's equal to one, this one's equal to two, and this one's equal to three. So I could have four colors because zero, one, two, three. That's four colors. Okay, so for more colors, I need more bits. So highlight the area, format, conditional formatting, add another rule is equal to. We're going to use number 10, but it's really, uh, we're trying to represent binary here. So I'm going to use, um, let's have orange, and I'm going to have a dark orange, um, oh, wrong way. Let's do dark orange text and a light orange uh, color. Add another color, so let's do 3 is equal to, so typed in 11, text color, let's make it red, dark red, and we're going to have a, a, a red color here. Save those rules. So now if I type in 11, I get red. If I type in 10, I get orange. Okay, so that's how you add more colors. More bits equals more colors. Have fun making your own little picture, and I'll see you next time.